Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Mick Peach Pies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the World Water PvP map into a custom world using MCEdit. So the first thing you want to do is download the schematic, which you can get from the forums, which is, has a link in the description below. And then what you want to do is you want to go single player, uh, create new world, uh, we'll just call it World Water uh, PvP. And you want to go survival mode. Uh, more world options, um, allow cheats on, and um, now you can do whatever you like, so say we'll make customized world, don't count up, full, um, I will land, so you can just make uh, whatever world you want, um, survival mode, well the mode doesn't really matter because it gets changed anyway, so we'll just go with survival. Um, and then you go create a new world. Let that generate. Okay, so once you spawn in, um, what you want to do is you want to go. Um, actually, no, you are going. You want to go game mode, C creative. Um, then you want to go TP zero one hundred zero generate the terrain here okay so we've spawned in a tree um, if you do spawn in blocks then um, just dig the block out um, now we've already got a block here but what we're going to do is we're going to go set block tilde tilde minus one tilde um, do something that stands out you can just do stone or anything but I like to go diamond block uh, just for referral. Uh, then you want to go set world spawn. Um, then close the world. Then what you want to do is you want to open up MC Edit. Um, I have a link to the download for that in the description. Uh, then you want to open up the world. Click open. Um, now we called it World Builder PvP by McPeachWise. So we can. You want to click open. Click on the world. Um, then click level dot dat for data and load the world in um, now I've already got um, MC edit loaded there in the top screen uh, sorry the schematic but um, what you want to do is you want to double click the block uh, then you click import now you when you download the schematic you put it into the MC edit schematic folder um, depending on your operating system uh, and click open now you've got it here and you click on the middle block, the block that you placed in. So in this case, it's a dome block. Um, now you go nudge and you align it with the um, center block for the world border map. So um, we can just go on up here. Um, sorry, this is a bit <laughs> confusing. Um, so yeah, I think. Here we go. Um, yep, so the center block should yep um, be aligned now with the center. Um, and then you want to go and you click, make sure copy um, ear. You don't need to copy water. Here's the major one. You need to copy ear in. Um, go import. Put it in. And then go save the world. Um, and now we can go close, go back to Minecraft, uh, open up the world again. And then when you load in, you should be right on top of the center block. Um, it should remove all the air, the beacon should start. Um, if the beacon doesn't start, then when you, um, that's because there's probably blocks blocking it. Um, when you start the game or the round, um, it automatically clears the blocks above it. Um, the scoreboard should automatically generate um, when you start the round. Um, if not, then you can click options um, and go reset on round start for scoreboards. Um, at the moment it's saying block um, cannot be placed because the redstone wire is already there that connects the scoreboards. Um, you can reset the rounds, the kills per round, which are sets um, 
each round it shows who's killed the most players. Um, it still contains the um, the total or the top kills, if you wish. Um, but each round it can show um, the scoreboard for that round in particular. Um, you can do that there, and you can select the total round time, um, how long it takes for the world border to shrink down. When you start the game, the world border automatically gets centered to zero zero. Um, stuff like that automatically gets done. All you have to do is import the schematic like we did before. Um, set the um, the world spawn on zero zero. That's not really necessary, but it does help for um, having players join the world there in that spot. So that's about it. That should import the world border PvP map into any world that you've generated, any world that you've made, um, just by simply using mcedit and setting the world spawn. Um, thank you for watching. If you want to see a gameplay video, I'll have that linked in the description below. I'll see you later.